ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to our English news edition coming to you from Canal Algerie. I'm your host, Maysa Dumas, to the headline. A massive explosion in a perfume shop manufacturer in Steve Province causing the death of eight people and 14 injured. Following this tragic accident, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, presents his sincere condolences to the families of the victims. The President of the Republic decides to deal with the medical file of the young man Abu Bakr Bilal involved in a traffic accident. As a representative of Lieutenant General Saeed Shindriha, Chief of Staff of the ANP, Major General Mahfoud bin Maddah, Commander of the Naval Forces, takes part in the Congress of the Chiefs of Defense of African States 2022 in Rome. In COVID-19, the situation remains critical with more than 1,400 new confirmed cases. Today's headlines. First in our news, the residents of Ain Ulman municipality in Stif province were shaken by a massive explosion in a perfume shop manufacturer. More details with Rania Al Bahri. Residents of Ain Ulman municipality in Stif province were shaken by a massive fire in one of the houses, which is believed to be a workshop of a perfume manufacturer. The flames moved to neighboring houses due to the strong winds. The civil defense units were there a few minutes after the explosion. The explosion occurred in a house consisting of four floors. The ground floor contains a store of perfumes and the other floors contain residents. This explosion made a big damage. In his turn, Ain Wilman Hospital mobilized its medical staff to rescue the wounded and took care of the victims. Until now, we recorded the same number of victims. It doesn't change. We are in a better control of the situation. The explosion led to the death of eight people and 14 injured. All the medical staff are ready to take care of the wounded and their families. Sparing residential neighborhoods from industrial activities, which always involve dangerous materials, has become more than a necessity in order to avoid such disasters. Following this tragic accident, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, presents his sincere condolences to the families of the victims and has instructed the Prime Minister to immediately take care of the injured. In another humanitarian gesture, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, decided to fully fund the medical care of young Bilal Abu Bakr, who got into a terrible traffic accident four years ago, following a broadcasting of his suffering on one of, on, on one of the national television's programs called Fitta Anni Salama. The details with Manal Ammari. Young Bilal Abu Bakr never imagined that he would one day spend four years of his life in a wheelchair. Following a horrible accident, this amateur biker's dreams vanished overnight. I always rode my bike alongside the yellow lines of the capital's highways, since I had no other options, even though I knew it was risky. After four long years of suffering and inability to move, alongside expensive care costs, a cry for help was initiated by this young man's father through a portrait showcasing this family's conditions, to which the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboon, responded positively by fully covering his medical care abroad. ونقوم يعني بإرساله يعني في مستشفى مختص بالخارج وإن شاء الله ترجع الشفاء التالي إن شاء الله 
بارك الله فيكم يعطيكم الصحة واجب يعني حتى من رئيس الجمهورية كان جد حساس الوضعية تاعك وأمرنا يعني بتكفل تم بالملف هذا ربي يحفظكم بارك الله فيكم ويعطيكم الصحة This fully funded health coverage adopted by the President of the Republic gave hope to a family which was torn apart with grief for many years. As a representative of Lieutenant General Saeed Shangriha, Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, Major General Mahfoud bin Maddah, Commander of the Naval Forces, is taking part from November 1st to 4th in the work of the Congress of the Chief of Defense of the African States 2022. It brings together the Chiefs of Staff of the African Continent and the American Military Command in Africa, AFRICOM hosted by the Italian capital Rome under the slogan Common Investment for a Common Future. Participants will review the current challenges facing the African continent. The Congress is also an opportunity to exchange experiences and consolidate cooperation to counter security threats, terrorism and fight against cross-border crime while addressing other issues related to climate change and the dangers of extremism and violence. To COVID-19 updates now, 1,403 new confirmed cases of coronavirus, 807 recoveries and 14 deaths were recorded during the last 24 hours in Algeria, according to the health ministry that keeps reiterating that getting vaccinated is the only way to curb the spread of this pandemic once and for all. A terrifying car crash occurred on Tuesday morning on National Road 49 leading to Wurgla province after a frontal collision that took place between a passenger bus linking Oran Hassim Saud line, a goods transport truck and a tourist vehicle. The accident killed five people and 13 were injured and an investigation was carried out immediately by the security services the civil defense services and the medical staff of Mohammed Boudiaf Hospital spread no effort to take care of the injured evacuated to the structure. And this accident con coincides with the entry into force of the decision of the Interior Ministry. No more withdrawal of driving license by the province commissions. A decision to lighten the administrative procedures which entered into exaction this Tuesday, February 1st. A new law that doesn't mean less respect of the rules of the road, but rather to make them driver more responsible. The National Gendarmerie gets closer to the citizens and tries to explain it. The example today is from Bishar province. The details with Leticia Sadqawi. These are the new measures applied in the event of traffic violation. No more withdrawal of driving license by the commissions of the province. Now the offending driver risks a heavy fine that he will have to pay within the mandatory deadlines. In the event of an offense, we had to wait several months before getting our driver's license back. Even longer when the fault is committed in another province. It is way better with this new initiative. This new law is much better than the one before. In Bashar province, an awareness campaign was organized by the local branch of the National Gendarmerie to explain these new measures to motorists. The territorial group of the National Gendarmerie of Bashar province organized an awareness and orientation day for truck drivers on the new measures concerning the withdrawal of license. In case of non-payment of the fine, the period is extended by 45 days. This new initiative comes into effect starting on Tuesday morning, a measure that will make it possible to simplify administrative procedures for truck drivers pending the entry into effect of a point-based license system.
Compliance with health prevention measures is essential to break the chain of the virus transmission. Wearing a mask, social distancing are among other measures to commit to, especially in shops. Rounds are organized regularly by the security services in Constantine province. Leticia Sitkawi has the details. With the resurgence of cases of COVID-19 infections, the control rounds are intensifying. The objective is to ensure compliance with the health protocol in its application. In Constantine province, the traders are the first concerned by this measure. It's a very good initiative. It's always good to remind people of the importance of health protocols. These awareness campaigns are organized for the safety of citizens, especially in the face of the increase in record of COVID cases. It is for this reason that we have intensified these kinds of campaigns. The elements of the National Gendarmerie and the National Security focus during these rounds on awareness, especially at the level of passing places, restaurants and public transport. We always insist on the importance of sanitizing our hands on a regular basis and physical distancing. These measures are intended to protect ourselves and to protect others. The elements of the regional group of National Gendarmerie of Constantine organized this field mission to control and ensure the application of the health protocol at the level of the various shops, restaurants, public transport and all places with a high number of citizens. We sanctioned some traders because the security protocol was not applied. However, the awareness and civic behavior of the citizen remain the main means to break the chain of the spread of this disease. Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad Minister Ramtan Lamamra arrived on Tuesday in Addis Ababa to take part in the work of the 40th Ordinary Session of the Executive Council of the African Union, bringing together the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of member countries. This session, which will be held at the African Union headquarters on February 2nd and 3rd, will be devoted to the examination of a session of issues of a series of issues relating to bilateral cooperation between African countries in order to face the various security and political challenges imposed by the current situation in addition to the repercussions of COVID-19 pandemic on the economic and health situation. The session will also consider reports on the activities of the various mechanisms and sectoral commissions of the Executive Council. It will also consider the preparation of the 35th Ordinary Session of the African Heads of State and Government, which will be held on February 5th and 6th. Amtan Lamamra will hold several meetings with his counterparts from African countries. A humanitarian aid caravan of the Red Crescent was launched, composed of 13 trucks to the border provinces in the west of the country, consisting of 100 tons of medical aid to strengthen the, ca the capacities of hospitals and medical teams against this fourth wave of COVID-19, in addition to disinfection and sanitation products for the benefit of families. The kickoff was given this Tuesday morning from the exhibition center by the president of the Algerian Red Crescent, Saeed Abn Habilis. The war veteran Ali Hamlet died at the age of 86. The disease was born on April 18, 1936, in Laharash, here in Algiers, and joined the armed forces in 1957. Following this painful ordeal, war veteran minister Al-Aid Rbiqa presented his sincere condolences to the family of the deceased. Grain cultivation occupied a, a significant part of the Council of Ministers held last Sunday. The sector regressed in recent times except for the south of the country, namely Adrar province, where corn production was introduced and is now highly successful. More details with Manal Ammari. With fertile lands and groundwater fills, this farm is on its way to becoming an agricultural farming division specialized in corn production. Thanks to the aid provided by the state, we benefited from lands and drilling from the National Youth Employment Agency, which helped us to reach our goals, namely the production of 50 tons of corn per hectare. We worked very hard to obtain a good harvest. 
but the harsh cold destroyed a huge part of it. Now we are calling on the public authorities to create a return fund for farmers such as ourselves. We are in charge of corn silage. We produce between 320 and 350 boxes per day. When workers are here and there are no issues, we produce up to 500 boxes. In addition to maize, farmers embarked on wheat production, another asset which grants Sadar province its place in this agricultural poll, specifically in cereal growing. I have three irrigation pivots. I use one for wheat and two for corn. These are very fertile lands and the harvest is of high quality. The use of new agricultural techniques alongside the efforts put in by the farmers who continue to contribute and improve production to reach self-sufficiency and thus reducing the importation bill. The units of the Sahrawi Liberation Army carried out new attacks against the Moroccan occupation forces along the Wall of Shame, the Spanish coordination of societies of friendship and solidarity with the Sahrawi people called on the European Solidarity Movement to apply the required pressure on the Spanish authority in a way that leads to a fair solution to the Sahrawi issue. That was it for our news edition. Thanks for tuning into our program. Good night.